Hello, today I want to introduce the newly released Flux 2 Turbo LoRa. This LoRa has just been dropped a day ago. There wasn't enough information on the Hugging Face repo, so I decided to give it a try and test to see what differences it would make. This will be a short video and the last for this year. And if you like it, kindly give it a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you. Okay, let's look at the workflow. I am using the stock template, which has been subgraphed into a compact workflow, easier to navigate and use. Besides, I have made a good amount of adjustments to the original to better suite my 12 GB VRAM. Here in the red node, you will find all links to the models required to run this workflow. The FP8 is included, but not tested with this workflow, as I am working on the smaller PC with this workflow. But the loader node is included just in case. GGUFQ4 is recommended for a 12GB card. You can download it from here. As for the LoRa, the Turbo LoRa can be directly downloaded from the repo via this link. You just need to load it into the LoRa model loader, just like any LoRa's. It essentially acts as an acceleration LoRa. It has been converted to run in ComfyUI smoothly with just 8 steps. As for the clip and VAE files, they are all GGUF files, which have much smaller sizes that can fit nicely into my VRAM. The links will download them directly to your PC. Down here, I have also included the prompts I have been using to test the model. Next is the subgraph that includes all the other nodes for Flux 2 image gen. And here are all the settings. Guidance should be left at 4, but you could try other values for different results. I did try, but with not much luck. You can set the aspect ratio, as well as the direction of the image. The short side value will determine the longer side based on your direction input. Here, I entered 1088, so my final image would be a landscape image with the size of 1984 by 1088. As for the Sage Attention setting, if you wish to use it, just set it to Auto. But I won't be using it on this machine, still not working. For the step count, it is recommended to use 8 steps. You could also increase it for better results. Okay, let's click here to see the subgraph details. The top part are the nodes I have added. I also modified a bit to the bottom part, like promoting the inputs that I needed to the main graph. Here are the model loader nodes. And here we load the acceleration model. I will disable the diffusion model loader just in case, so that Comfy will not throw any error. These here are the optimization nodes. Here we set up our clip and VAE models. The image size settings have been promoted to the main graph, so no need to change anything inside this subgraph, except for loading the models on your first setup. All the rest can be configured in the main graph. And that's pretty much it. I have observed and measured resource usage during many test runs as shown here. Basically, to generate one 11920 by 1080 image, it takes roughly 2 minutes, about 15 seconds per iteration, an average of 28 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 10 to 12 gigabytes of VRAM, depending on my prompt complexity. I really hope this info will be useful to many of you. If it is, kindly like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and a very happy new year to everybody. See you again next year.